Thank you, Paul. Well, if you're voting in Catoosa County this November, you'll notice a change at the polls. Catoosa is one of six Georgia counties chosen to run test run new voting machines. They'll eventually replace the electronic machines currently being used just in time for the 2020 presidential primary election. Here's Tanisha Cordell to explain why Catoosa was chosen. Yes, David, well, Catoosa County volunteered actually, but the security or secretary of state's office looked at two things, population sizes of all 159 Georgia counties and who is set to host elections this fall. Now, Catoosa County elections director Tanya Moore says they're excited for the opportunity to be ahead of the game come election time. It's a new three step process rolling out in Catoosa County this fall. Everything is going to have to be updated and new from what it was because um, as we say, it's it's a different process. Elections director Tanya Moore says using this new ballot marking device, voters will still make their choices on a touch screen, but they will get to review their ballot, then print it. Next, they'll insert it into a scanner where it is locked into a container. Once the paper is scanned into that system, we can actually go back and audit what has been um, actually cast as far as if you have a recount or a close race. We'll have um, a lot of poll workers working, just monitoring to make sure that nobody walks off and leaves their ballot laying on the printer or that they try and leave with their ballot. Well, you can demo those new machines. All you have to do is show up uh, to the Freedom Center in Catoosa County on December 30th at 5 p.m. For now live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Alrighty, thank you, Tanisha. We'll make